It is time to look at a very nice looking, gorgeous, plain, pretty looking, pretty plain guitar today. This is uh, the Emperor Tim Renwick model from Grey Guitars. Now, if you're a regular viewer of mine, you would have seen me um, do a video, it was on Friday. It's a SRV thing and I was playing this guitar and had some lovely comments from it. Um, Grey, Grey Guitars are a relatively new company. Uh, Tom or Thomas Gray is at the, the is the forefront of it. And um, man, when I started playing this, I was like, this is an incredible playing guitar. <laughs> So let me quickly talk about it and then go through some of the sounds and whatnot. So first thing I have to talk about is this neck. Uh, I'll do some close-ups. I've got camera two here so you can have a kind of closer look at it. But it's a roasted maple neck. If you're not sure what roasted is, in layman's terms, they kind of whack it the wood in an oven, an oxygen-free oven, and take all the moisture out of it. So it's a very stable neck. So if you're traveling a lot, um, it's not going to move around as much, you know. So the headstock, obviously the guitar is a very familiar looking guitar. It's an S-type guitar, right? The, the kind of classic shape. Uh, the headstock's obviously different. Um, some people will like it, some people won't. I, because you're so used to that traditional look, completely get that. I'm, you know, I'm, I was like that. But I think it's a cool looking headstock, you know. You've got a little kind of... Uh, Grey Guitars um, logo there, the butterfly, which is really cool. And, you know, obviously, like I say, that lovely looking roasted maple flame <laughs> is on the headstock as well. And I love it. And if you smell it, you can smell the wood. I know that sounds hippie. I know that probably sounds quite sad, but it's true, man. So, yes, ro roasted maple uh, neck, flame maple neck. And it's got a 12-inch uh, fingerboard radius. The frets are lovely, there's no uh, mucking around there with sharpness or anything like that. Now I'm pretty certain that it's a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, I can't remember what uh, Tom said to me, but um, I'm pretty, it certainly feels like it. If I'm mistaken, it may be ebony, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but do check, uh, all the links will be in the website below, you know. But either way, it's so smooth, you can bend and bend and bend 
Um, sorry, got tune up. And you're not gonna fret out there. It's so smooth. Um, I love it, it's really, really nice. Um, so you got that. Obviously the truss rod is here, as opposed to up here. So a dual action truss rod, I believe uh, the actual word's cool. And yeah, you know, it's something a bit different. A few other companies do this as well. Uh, it's easy to get to, you know, straight away I can get an Allen key in there, boom. Boom shaka laka. Uh, so that's the kind of neck. Uh, on the back here, you will notice that the, the kind of regular big square box is uh, gone with these recessed bolts in there. Uh, and again, it's just ease of playing. Basically, this is a vintage guitar with modern features. That's the best way to kind of view it. You can kind of easily get up there. No, you know, with some S type guitars, you've got that, you know, the kind of square, uh, the square heel shape there going on. Um, and then we've got the pickups. Uh, pickups are bare knuckle pickups. I'm not sure the exact models uh, shape of it, but they're very, very nice pickups. And as you can see, it's two single coils and one humbucker. Uh, now what is very cool with this guitar, if I push the first tone knob up, it would then make the neck pickup work with all the other pickups. So obviously, um, there's your neck pickup sound. Uh, sorry, I got that mute button on again. That's my neck pickup. Now, if I pull it into the second, well, I call this second position. Some people call it the fourth position, but if I pull it for the neck and middle, that's the neck's going to be involved in it anyway. So it makes no difference if that knobs up or not. But where it really comes in here is if I'm on the bridge pickup, right? Uh, so at the moment I've got the humbucker on. If I, uh, sorry, it's up there. So that's the humbucker. Now, if I kick that knob in or push that knob down it will blend the neck pickup and the bridge together. All right, so you've got the kind of telecaster kind of sound going on. And then on this last tone, if it's at the moment it's on 10, it's not a gain, it's not a tone control. It's all an illusion. Um, so I can, if I roll that down to zero, it's now split that humbucker and it's a single coil. So the just the um, bridge pickup on its own. Roll up that tone control. You can hear when the humbucker comes in. So you can slowly start bringing a bit more buckery, you know? So again, if I put the neck, uh, engage the neck pickup with it uh, and have it as a single coil, you've got a pop up. You know, proper kind of uh, telecaster kind of sound. Where'd my picture go on? So I really like that feature, that's really cool. Push it down, I've got just a bridge. Obviously it's in a nice, uh, well, blue, is it Daphne blue? I believe the actual colour of it is. Um, all, all the info will be on the Tom's website, on Grey Guitar's website, um, so do check it out. But it's a phenomenal guitar. So let me just bust out some kind of sounds for you. Uh, I've got my little pedal board, that well, I say little, my main big pedal board here. So um, I'll do some clean sounds and some 
you know, rocky sounds and whatnot. So this is just the guitar into the amp, which is the lovely Hampstead Artist 20 RT. RT stands for Reverb and Tremolo. So this is the neck pickup, all clean. Engage neck and middle positions. Just the middle pickup. This will be the middle and bridge pickup, and at the moment it's a single coil actually. So that's nice, man. I like that. You got your straight away. Sorry, I digress. put the humbucker in so that was the humbucker with the bridge picker and then humbucker as full humbucker Control down, and it's a single coil. Okay, uh, so that's all the clean sounds. If I go on to Mr. Neck Pickup, oh, actually, sorry. If I put the neck and bridge together uh, with single coil. Roll that up, humbucker, with the neck pickup. Pick up back up, bit of a uh, bit of oomph. That's quite you know, it's a good rock kind of sound. The net pickup, I'll put on bridge pickup.
it's really when you're playing it um it sounds weird when i say this but you can really feel it if you, if you know what i mean like you can really feel uh the wood kind of breathing in a way it, again it can sound really hippie-ish saying all this kind of stuff you know but it's true like it's definitely it's very much alive so to speak all these kind of words you kind of hear a lot of people say but it's, it's really true you know and i think if you get a guitar what makes you want to just keep playing and playing and playing is, is a good one you know when you could just pick up any old guitar well, not any old guitar but you get given a guitar you're like oh it's all right you play a couple of chords you're happy to pull it back down with this, I kind of want to keep playing, you know, <laughs> and everything I'm playing is improvised, made up on the spot. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it makes me very creative playing this, you know, I'm enjoying it. And the sound, I mean, I think the pickups and the, and the wood and the fact, obviously, it is, I haven't mentioned it's finished in nitro cellulose lacquer, um, which is very important if you want that vintage vibe, you know, so it's going to age really, really nicely. Um, I, I have actually gigged with this guitar and used it in a session as well. Um, so I wanted to, you know, real world test it before, you know, telling people, oh, this is amazing when I haven't really used it properly myself. So I've done a proper good two hour gig on it and sweated on it and all that kind of stuff and then used it for a recording session as well. And um, the tones were great with it. So, um, yes, yeah, so that was some of that. Let me, let's do a bit more heavier kind of sound. This is the King Fuzz being kicked on now. <laughs> Even with you no know, bit of fuzz going on, you can still hear the notes. Uh oh, it's such a joy to play, and with this neck, it's so smooth. You know, it's a like an oil wax finish. Um, if I was to be really, really picky, really picky. It would be nice just to be a smidge wider that way because there's a nice chunk on it. Uh, but that's just from my hands. You know what I mean? Everyone's different. But at the same time, you know, if you put in a, an order, you can specify <laughs> specify how uh, the size of your neck. So if I was being really, really picky, you know, you've got to, nothing can be ever 100% perfect. I would say just a smidge wider there for me for me, but other than that, you know, I could deal with it because it's such a joy to play. <laughs> and like I say, because of the, the way, uh, you know, the frets are and it's, it's all nicely kind of polished and no crap under there, bending is so easy. <laughs> Net pick up, let's do some middle.
down the neck and roll down the tone, you're going to get your... And then, you know. You got all that stuff happening a bit. Uh, and let's do some heavy distortion on the bridge pickup. single coil I quite like that Angry Charlie, in case you weren't on doing that. Um, ma'am, what else is there to say? I could just keep playing and playing and playing and playing. <laughs> uh, definitely check out Grey Guitars uh, website. All the link will be in the description box below. And it's grey, not like the colour grey. It's G-R-A-Y, Grey Guitars. And um, yeah, fantastically made guitar. It's... Um, and I played, uh, I had a go on his Telecaster as well, uh, which uh, I'm sure I'll have another look at again later. Um, and it, yeah, they're just lovely guitars to play. And it makes you just want to just play your guitar. You know what I mean? It's, nothing's holding you back or anything like that. Uh, I'm a, I'm a very much a big fan. Um, like I say, any kind of negatives, you know, let's, let's be fair. For just for me, it would be just for the the neck to be just a smidge bit bigger, you know, uh, well wider that way. Um, but that's just for my hands, you know. If you've got smaller hands than me, then you know it's be fine. Whatever you're used to, you know. But other than that, man, it's a uh, it's a good looking guitar, you know. Hopefully, um, it makes me look prettier. Anyway. <laughs> Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Love to know what you're thinking. And uh, I will see you next time. So Mike Bradley, very much, signing out. <laughs>